Hey guys, in today's video we're going to show you how you can send WhatsApp message template by receiving inbound webhooks. So imagine that you just made a purchase somewhere, right? So we wanted to send the customer information through a WhatsApp message template, but then how to trigger that inside of UChat? Well, inside of UChat you have what is called the inbound webhook. So if your platform supports a purchase, or a lead generation like a form that wants to send information to a webhook, then you can receive that data inside of UChat. The way to do that is by going towards the tool section, go towards inbound webhooks. From here, you can just press the button new inbound webhook and can call this anything you like to. For now, let's call this WhatsApp message template test. There we go. Going to save this and we are going to edit this. Right inside of the edit overview, you will see the webhook URL. You can copy this and paste this towards the platform that you want to send the data from over to UChat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up inside of another flow inside of UChat and then I send the data that I need to through an external request to this webhook. In turn, this webhook will trigger the message template. So the way it works is if we copy this, then we have basically the webhook URL on our clipboard and now we can just use this. Let's leave this as it is right now because we first need to set up the flow and we also need to be able to trigger this webhook. So I'm going to open up a new tab. I'm going towards a flow. And I'm going with just naming this test, right? Because we want to send certain data over towards this webhook and I'm doing this to an external request. So let's go with an action block. Let's go with an advanced action, external request. And now if we go inside the external request, you will now see that we can paste the URL from this webhook inside the external request. Inside the body, we are going with some raw JSON and JSON starts with an open curly bracket and ends with a closing one. In between, we have keys and values. So a key could, for example, be user ID. And we need to have that between quotes. Then we have a column and then we have the value. In this case, I'm going to grab my WhatsApp user NS ID so that it's clear on how to send this kind of data towards UChat, right? But you can also do the same with phone or email. It depends on what kind of information that you can send from your platform. I will do it by user ID, but you can also do it with email and phone numbers. So in this case, let's go with user NS. I'm going to save this because I need to grab my user NS code. So let's actually go inside my profile, copy the user NS ID, and then go back inside of this test flow. We're going to open external request again, open the body and then paste my, basically my user NS ID there. We are, are going to close off between quotes, but if you have more information that you want to send towards this webhook, for example, order ID, and you want to save that inside of custom fields, I will show you how you can do that as well. So inside of a JSON body, you can, if you want to add more data, you need to have a comma at the line above, indicating that there is more data coming in. So let's assume that a customer just purchased a certain product from you or a service, right? We also want to export the order ID. In this case, I'm just going to fill in some random number but for you it will be the exportation of a system field basically from your web shop so this could be some kind of order id right totally random and i'm going closing this off between bracket uh, between quotes again so for me this is enough information to be sent and i am going to send this information right now towards the webhook the way to do this is by going towards the webhook and we're going to say we're going to listen to the data payload so now this webhook is waiting to receive data. So let's try this out and say test. 
and see what the webhook is coming up with. So let's press test and we get the status OK. So if we go inside of the inbound webhook and press done, you will now see that the details have been received. As you can see, user ID and order ID, right? And we can now say we are going to preview the payload. This means is that we can now just basically map the data that we receive. So for example, if we want to map the order ID, we can map that to any custom field that we want to. So if I have something with order ID, which I have, I can map it towards this one and just press add. Now, to be able to trigger the WhatsApp message template, we need to identify the user inside of the chatbot. To identify the user that the message template needs to be sent to, we can do so by three different lookups. We have the user NS, we have the phone number, and we have the email. User NS might be a little bit tricky. I used it in this case as an example, but you can also use the phone number and the email as unique values, right? As you can see here, if a user NS has no value and no bot user is found by phone or email, this webhook will not be processed. So that means that the data coming in will be received, but it cannot be sent anywhere because we have no user that we can combine it to. So we need either of these three lookups to be able to have a successful inbound webhook URL. So for me, it will be this lookup because I exported my WhatsApp ID, right? So the way to do this is by going towards the sample data, right? Just press the user ID, it will get the JSON path here. Just copy this JSON path and paste it inside of your lookup value. So in this case, it will be user NS. But if this was, for example, uh, email, it would be dollar sign dot email. And you can just copy and paste that inside of the email and the same goes for phone number, right? So this part has now been set up. We received the data from the inbound webhook. We have the sample data. We mapped the order ID and we also adjusted to look for the user with this user ID to send the message template. So what we are going to do now, we're going to save this, but now we need to send them a message template. So we need to create a flow for this. So the way to create a flow, we can just press choose subflow. If you already have one, you can select one. And otherwise we can just basically create a new subflow. So let's do that right now. Let's say message template demo. And let's go with adding this. So let's go towards the flow section and now let's edit this. Let's go with edit flow and now let's add a message template. So let's see which ones I have available at this moment. So let's go with add an item, go with others because this is omni-channel. Uh, my message templates are on the other step. So let's go with message template. We can press the edit button. And from here, we can select the available WhatsApp templates. So I only have these, right? So let's go with just a customer service reply. And I only have to fill in the body. In this case, hi, and it would be first name. So I will just leave this as an example. But again, if you stored the order information, so let's do that actually right now. New item added. Let's go with the body will be first name. And then I have just added a new, and this will be pre-filled with the order ID, but you get the idea, right? Because you can save all the values of the order inside the message template. You can also map all the order details to custom fields and display it towards the user. So let's just map the body to, to order ID. There we go. And save this. Now let's publish this. Don't forget that part. And now let's test this whole process out. So first make sure that on the inbound webhooks that your webhook is set to active. Otherwise it will not send the message template. And now let's head over towards the flow and let's test it out again. So let's press test and let's see if I receive a message template. I receive a message on my WhatsApp. And if we take a look, 
you will now see, hey Mark, I've just added a new 443-993, that's the value I gave for the order ID, to your account. Please type new to get all the information about it, but this is just a message template that I set up. But again, this, could, this message template could contain all the order information from the order from that particular customer and product. So this is the way that you can trigger the inbound webhook and have three unique lookup values, either the user's NS ID, the phone number all by email, and then send the message template with the values that you got from the information inside the inbound webhook. If you like this video, do consider dropping a like because it will help us outreach more people and comment down below which video you want to see next. And we'll try to record that as soon as possible. For now, have a great day, take care and talk soon.